All right, so you may notice the backdrop is a little different here today. We're we're on the we're on the road. We're moving and grooving. We're out here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, um, and but we've we've got a big weekend of college football coming up here. I just go off of being sick, so I ha I, I got to make this work. It doesn't look the lighting may be a little off, and I apologize for that, but. I gotta do what I gotta do to get these videos out here because when we have a game like the Civil War going on on Friday night, it needs to be talked about on the air. So let's start to break this down a little bit. It was Oregon State Beavers. I've got to say that it has been a pleasure to watch this team play this year. It's it's been an honor and a privilege to watch them play this year because in every single game they brought it. Watching them play Washington on Saturday, and the outcome is not what Beaver Nation would have desired. But man, they brought it. They played a physical game of football. They were resilient. They played tough. They played with an edge. They played nasty in the rain. I loved it. It's, it, it, it's, a, it's a really resilient football team. And I, I know that with that loss to Washington... They, the Oregon State Beavers dropped out of contention for the, a spot in the Pac-12 title game, but they still they, they they've had <coughs> excuse me got some allergies kicking up here too. They've they, they've had a year to remember, and I think a testament to their resiliency has been fighting the way that they have every week, even e even through the the issues that they've had from a conference standpoint. This, it, Oregon State behind the scenes in the backgrounds. They've been dealing with turmoil all year. They, for three quarters of the season, they, they, they didn't know what format of a conference they're going to be playing in next year, but yet the, it's still a week-by-week -week process for this team. It's still living in the presence and being in the moment and battling the best they can every week. Just recently, it, it was approved for Oregon State and Washington State to have a two-team conference until they land on their feet in a new conference or decide what their future is going to hold. But even with that uncertainty on an external level, Oregon State has still found a way to battle every week. Very physical on defense, very underrated on offense. Um, I, I, I've got to say, they've, they've been very productive. So it's been an honor and a privilege to watch them this year. But unfortunately for those Beavers on Friday night, they are heading into... Eugene, Oregon, Austin Stadium. It's going to be a hostile environment. And I don't know if you can find a team in the college football landscape right now that has more motivation than Oregon. And I can, I can just tell that their sights are set on that revenge game against Washington next Friday, hoping that that becomes a thing and that happens as well. But I, 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 they, they, they look like they are just supercharged and just ready to go for that game. But with that said, they're not looking ahead because the Oregon Ducks never look ahead when the Civil War is on the horizon. This game means more. It, mean, it means just as much as any rivalry in college football. Yes, we've got the game. Yes, we've got the Iron Bowl. But the, the, these these two teams take this rivalry seriously. So much to where they're, even though Oregon is moving to the Big Ten next year, both teams are trying to work out a plan to where they can continue to have this rivalry every year because it it, it, it just means that much. And I can see it happening like a Georgia and Georgia Tech thing. <coughs> it's such a deeply embedded, deeply entrenched rivalry to where they're going to continue to play this every year. But when it, when it comes to, to, to this year, Oregon has had one of the most productive offenses in college football. Bo Nix has put on an absolute Heisman show this year. And defensively, they're suffocating. They are absolutely suffocating. It is hard to score on this defense. And I think Oregon State is going to have a hard time doing so this Friday night as well. Ultimately, I'm, I'm taking Oregon to win this thing 38-28. to It'll be a good battle as, as, as these two rivals take the field for the last time for a little while. I, th I think they're going to restore this thing. But it'll, it'll, it'll be a game for you. Remember, I think, I think it'll be competitive for the first half. You know, I, I think you can definitely see like a 17-13 to 13 in, the, in the first half. And, and then Oregon kind of piles it on. And the second half will be kind of a lopsided game, I'm feeling. But with that, I can say that that, that Austin Stadium crowd is going to be there. And there's <clears throat> no better way to start rivalry week 
than with the Ducks and the Beavers. And I can't wait to watch it on Friday night. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you and the time that you took out of your day to watch the video. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like the video and share it as well as subscribe to the era. The more likes and subscribers I get on this channel, the more resources I can attain and the more resources I can attain, the more value I can provide to you, the viewer. And that is how I show my appreciation for you for the time that you devote to watching my videos. So thank you so much and have a great day.